What is going on guys, Unite the Clans here, I'm back in your life with another episode of Building with UTC. I'm Unite the Clans, we're definitely going to be doing some building. I think we got to work out this altar. I'm really not stoked about the way it's looking right now. I think the key is raising it up, I think that's what we're going to do. And um, by the way, back to back Minecraft episodes, I uh, wanted to record some ARC, but um, once again my server is down. Um, I, I am so damn ready to get hop on a big YouTuber server and play with uh, play with some pros on a server that isn't going to disappear on me every couple of days. Uh, hopefully I will be able to get back onto my original server guys, finish up that big house build and bring that to you. But in the meantime, let's just play a little Minecraft, we'll work on this altar, we'll raise it up a notch. I do have a couple ideas in mind, things that I think will uh, we'll kind of make this a little more of the centerpiece I need it to be in this uh, this underground church, which this is, by the way, if you're new and you're new to this series, this is a the spiritual center of the, the underground village I'm currently building. This village that I built, uh, let's see if I came out the right, oh, it's nighttime, always good. Okay, the village that I built is over this way, and um, it is basically underground. It's dug out of the earth and it runs underneath the forest and I wanted to build a, uh, a sort of religious centerpiece for the people that live in this village and so what we did is we built this gigantic tree on top of this hill and we hollowed it the hell out and um, you can see you can get a vague idea of what the village would look like we may wander back that way later in this episode but this is this is sort of what it looks like we got a, a long pathway that runs through here and we're gonna build little houses and hobbit hole type stone age houses off to the sides now i really ought not to be out here this late at night it's danger it's big danger uh creepers and, and whatnot about uh so let's head inside maybe i'll sleep for the night and uh we'll keep working on the the altar which is at the centerpiece of this hollowed out hill this uh underground church that we're working on sort of a temple of nature that's what i was going for in here so we've got a wildflower garden got a, a lifetime supply of wheat pumpkins growing and then the roots of that giant tree all come down here in the center and in the middle I want a centerpiece I want something magnificent um, oh yeah I've moved my bed let's see if I can remember where I moved my bed to right over here right down here cool sometimes when I wake up my head is inside a block so we'll see what happens no we're good I'm not suffocating nice uh, this one, this is another one. I went through and added um, some ferns through here. You guys let me know what you think. Also, more flowers. I like it. Got more baby chickens. Lots of baby chickens. Just running free and wild in this place. And uh, everything's starting to grow. Like, every spot we've got. Uh, it's these, these, you know, the gardens I've put in, they're all starting to grow up to full size. So, uh, this I'm doing, guys, I'm going to basically do the same outline of spruce in uh, half slabs around this thing but um, I want them to be a little higher than the dirt that surrounds this so, and then the the altar will be even higher than that I think we're gonna attempt to make it look like a table that's what I'm thinking so we'll, we'll do this and we'll see how this looks for one just raising the profile and then we'll raise that um, that altar this uh, much higher and I kind of like the pattern. It's supposed to be a pattern of a tree, of a big spruce tree. I think you guys are probably starting to see it. Uh, I hope you are. I hope I haven't made, done it too poorly that you can't tell. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to not mess with it too much. I'm going to just try and recreate that uh, block for block, which means I'll just leave this and I'll break it out one at a time and replace them one at a time once I've raised everything up. Uh, here we go. This is probably giving you a... a like this is probably making it a little more prominent already just raising up this border this sort of uh apron around the uh, uh the big altar table all right so that i like that i like that the, the depth that that adds and then we are going to let's get everything i need on my hot bar i need am i really out of smooth stone maybe i am i think i'm cooking some more up uh 
this way. This way. Yes. <laughs> I gotta keep this. This sugar cane is the thing that's making me get lost every damn day. Hey, baby chickens, how you doing? You little cuties. Uh, I'll take that, and I'm gonna need some more. Uh, just take half a stack. Yeah, there we go. We'll throw a half a stack in there. Get that to work. And uh, the other thing I'm going to need is maybe some some half slabs. But I maybe the uh, stone brick half slabs are the way to go. Do I have more stone brick hiding anywhere? I don't. Okay, so we're, why don't we just... I'll get another half stack of cobble cooking. And... We'll turn some of it into the smooth stone, and then the others, let me grab one more. We'll make a, oh, actually, that's perfect. Let's hop over here, do a little bit of, whoops, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and I'm going to attempt, at, once again, to do this all on the fly, guys. I've been inspired of late, uh, checking out some uh, really just amazing Minecraft builders, putting me to shame. Um... Scar, a guy on the Hermitcraft server. God damn, that dude's world is... He, you stand there and you look out over this guy's world and he's placed every damn block. When you see a mountain, it's not a Minecraft mountain. It's a man-made, hand-built mountain, block by damn block. You know, it makes you question when you're a guy who spends his time making... It makes you go, well, you know, <laughs> am I in it? what am I doing with my time if this guy's able to accomplish this? And all I'm doing is this underground. I mean, I like this place. And you can only build what you can build. And you only get better with practice. But but damn, there are some amazing builders out there. And I've just had my head in the sand not not paying attention to these guys for way too long. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've just been inspired this morning. So I don't think I'll ever have the free time to do the massive builds that I see guys like Scar doing. But... Uh, and I'm, you know what? Some of you guys are already subscribed, so this is the this is the call out for today. If you guys are one of my my viewers, if you're a long time, longer time viewer, and we're gonna do one like that, and then I should be able to put this right back where I got it, which would be right here. And we'll see, we'll see how this looks. So I'll take these two out. Go one, two, and I guess I could have just made full blocks. I don't need half slabs. I forgot. And then like this. And like this. And we'll just keep doing this. We'll keep raising it up. Um, yeah, if you guys know of, of the kind of builders that I'm talking about, the kind of guys that are just super inspiring, that do crazy cool stuff in Minecraft, you hit me up. Let me know who they are. Because uh, a bunch of you guys are, if you're subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to those guys because they're better than me at this kind of stuff. And I would love to see what, what those those guys are doing. Whoops, that's not right. And these two go the other way. I, I could probably manage to do this, but I don't want to. There you go. There you go. All right, now is that going to be way too tall? You know what the key is going to be? The key is going to be have these be like legs on a table. So I'll come around and add these in later. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is the key. So that's why we do the half slabs. So uh, put you there. And then, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. You go half slab. whoops. There you go. Half slabs all around, and then you just do a few double half slabs that'll get you up and make it look like legs of a table because right now it doesn't yeah okay well let's keep on going let's keep on digging out this pattern um yeah i mean it's it's watching amazing builders that got me into minecraft in the first place guys that were just doing cool th that's what that's what brought me to youtube and you know introduced me to the idea of let's plays which i now make myself practically all the time and, um, it, you know, I, I, I just, uh, I want to make sure that I'm not missing out on some of the amazing builders that are out there. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to, I want to be seeing the best there is in Minecraft building, getting inspired by it and trying to live up to that potential. So if you guys know those people, if you know who's just killing it, just making amazing videos, amazing builds, all that kind of stuff, those are the kind of people I want you to tell me about in today's comments. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do that too from now on, guys, is um, give you something particular to comment about, give you something in particular to, to talk to me about or inform me about or get me excited for, whatever. 
that's that's the kind of thing I want to be doing from now on. Uh, let's take this and this. I'm gonna go need to go get some more uh, smooth stone and smooth uh, half slabs as well. All right, we're getting there. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, these are all going the same direction. Uh, okay, let's go get that stone. Let's uh, let's carry this on, and hopefully this thing's gonna start to look good. I I really don't know. Uh, I sh probably should have done this a test build first, and then broken it, or done it in creative, and just tried to see how it's gonna look. But um, I like you know, I think it's it's. It's watching these guys who are just kicking ass at Minecraft and inspiring me. It's watching those guys uh, that's got me wanting to get better at building on the fly. Like, really. It's a it's a skill I gotta have. Be able to talk and build at the same time. Two, three, four. Let's go one more. There you go. And ba-boom. All right, cool. We should have all the supplies we need now. This should take us, down, take us home. Take us on the home stretch. Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna look. Okay, that's cool. Don't don't get down on it yet. We got we got got to get it in place and see what we think of it. You know, this may be the kind of thing that I just keep tweaking and keep working on uh, as time goes on. Ooh, ooh. I just had I just had a bit of inspiration. I don't think these ought to be stone. I think I'll only do stone where I end up doing sort of legs for this table. Which I guess I can figure out where I'm going to do that. I think this should be more spruce. Yeah. Yeah, it'll make it seem a little more continuous. And then we'll, we'll figure out exactly where to put legs for this thing. So, if you were going to have legs on a big table like this, I think I'd probably do one in the middle. So we'll worry about that. Or one in the middle. And then we'll do two on the sides. Maybe right here and right here. And everywhere else. Let's just do spruce and we'll see how that looks. I think that might make it a little more continuous, and if I just have the outline of the cobble right under the table, whoops, it'll it'll confuse me, at least. It won't look, it'll look like it's part of the table and not, ideally I want this to look like a table on a floor instead of, you know, an inlay in a floor, which is what we had before. So yeah, yeah, I think this is going to be the ticket. I think this is what I'm looking for. Um, put you there, put you there, yeah, cool. Uh, and these ones go, yeah, okay, so I gotta go throw these down. All right, and let's get to work placing these bad boys. I should have five of them. Oops, I guess I'll just do that, and that, and that, and that. And then yeah, we'll have a leg somewhere around here for the table. This would be all right. I think I'm starting to get a vision for this. I think it's starting to come together. Uh, whether it's gonna look like a table, I don't know. Cause the idea of using stairs for this was um, was because it would be inlaid in the ground. It's not gonna affect your ability to walk over it. Like I can walk over this now, but you get this texture. You get this sort of capture some of the, what makes a big spruce tree, a big spruce tree is sometimes like the layers where it's, it's hard to explain. You know what I mean? Where it's it's wider than thinner, then wider than thinner. It's kind of ribbed for for your tree pleasure. Uh, and uh, and I think that's what I was trying to capture with the stairs. But if I'd started off from the get go thinking about uh, a table instead of a, you know a floor inlay, then I, I might have uh, might have been thinking differently. I might have been not. Not thinking stairs are the best bet, but we'll keep going. We'll see how this damn thing looks. So I'll go here, go here, and I think we'll do the leg right here. So give me, am I out of those? I might be out of those. We got the full block. That's okay. So we'll throw this one down here. Yeah. Okay. And then these just go all the same direction, if I'm not mistaken. So we need a few. Oh, you know what? This is going to work out. Almost perfect. I, I, might, I have exactly what I need. Oh, not quite. And you know what we should add is a little light under here. So let's break that. Let's break this. Yeah. Okay. And how much spruce do I have in the old inventory? Oh, I got lots. Okay. I'm gonna. I want to make this all spruced up. I don't want the stone showing through if I can avoid it. 
All right, and give me these. That's where I thought I lost them. That explains it. We got a lot more than I thought. And this must be dark as heck. Sorry, guys. Go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'll put a torch in here. And now I just need to get my ass out of here. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, I can't can't get my butt out of here. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Oh, idiot. Idiot. It's all right, guys. You, you're going to have to learn. UTC is a damn amateur when it comes to this stuff sometimes. Getting myself in holes and not being able to get out of them. That happens. Uh, and I'm going to go get a little bit of glass. I know I have some in the chest, and we'll put a piece of glass over that. And it'll act as sort of a one extra leg for the table. Uh... And you know what? We are deep enough into this episode, guys. I'm overdue. I should have taken a break. So why don't I take a quick break? When you come back, we'll finish up this altar, okay? Dang, time flies in an episode. I didn't even realize we'd gotten so deep. Usually I'll take a little break at the 10 minute mark, and I think we got 15 minutes deep today, so enjoy. The second half will be a little shorter than the first half, I would imagine. And we'll just finish this, uh, finish this up. We're almost there. One. Two. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna look cool. I hope it looks cool. It seems like it's gonna. So from here, that definitely looks like a tree. Obviously, you won't be seeing it from above because there's a literal giant tree over it. From a distance, does that look too? You know what? It doesn't because it's an altar. You know what I mean? This is maybe where they'll they'll put their their if there's a tribute to Mother Nature, the maybe eggs or seeds or whatever. Maybe they maybe they do that. Who knows? And we could, if I was feeling confident, always add fire in the middle, but that might be dangerous with a gigantic tree above or all these roots around. I think that looks okay. All right, guys, well, this might end up being a shorter video, and you might have ended up with an ad break near the end instead of right in the middle, but I think I like the way that looks. Uh, let's see if I can hop my butt up here. Yes, and we'll sign off from this spot. That is going to do it for this episode of Building UTC. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Do not forget to let me know in the comments some of your favorite Minecraft builders, and I will be back in your lives with another episode in just a couple of days.